Thanks to LessonPlans.ai for sponsoring today's video. Welcome, debaters, to another Reading Pioneers debate video. This time, we're going to be looking at how to obtain evidence online, mainly through researching and using AI. Let's try to figure out which is better, doing traditional research online hmm, or using AI to figure out what the best arguments are. Now, to make this very simple, this debate topic, there should be CCTV in operating rooms at hospitals, was a topic of one of my high school students was given for an in-class debate. She didn't know anything about the procedures or rules with surgeries, surgeons, operating rooms, and this entire topic. So we talked about how to find the best arguments, and we had different ideas on how to do that. Now, the normal way that we would go around trying to figure out the pros and cons arguments for having CCTV would be going to a simple Google search and seeing how CCTV is used in the operating rooms. So we would search CCTV uh, in operating rooms in hospitals. Those are some of the keywords that are used in the topic. We'll do a simple Google search and uh, let's see, we have CCTV is aimed at surveilling the behaviors of medical personnel and punishing. Maybe this could be very useful. It's from the National Institutes of Health. Uh, Korea Jungang Daily. So being in Korea, this was a topic. This comes from 2021, so not too bad. Uh, doctor's consciousness on CCTV installation. Okay. So now that we've looked at some of the first uh, articles, we can go in and start reading them, trying to figure out, you know, if any of them can be very helpful. And um, okay, so like this article seems to be mostly just information um, about CCTVs in the operating rooms. If we look at the Korea Jungang Daily uh, associated with the New York Times, uh, they're not necessarily recording to be required in operating rooms. Interesting. Um, the National Assembly passed a law that mandates the installation of surveillance cameras in operating rooms where patients undergo surgery while under general anesthesia. So this has already been put into effect. Uh, it was introduced in 2015, and oh, it will go into effect in 2023, so this year. Okay. Now, this makes sense why this was a topic in my students' class. Um, it's got some different ideas, but as you can see, with some of these articles and resources online, we aren't able to get the entire... Oh, maybe we are. Let's see. Ooh. Okay, it's all in Korean though. That's that's not good. That's yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, we are able to get some information, but as you might have noticed, using Google, the pros and cons, let's say, of using Google. One of the pros I think is getting actual evidence. Let's call this real evidence. And I think this is one of the most important parts of doing research because you're able to find the actual source of information and gather, gather that information correctly. The con, however, uh, which I think is a really big one, is the time consumption that's required to do the research and find the evidence and get the arguments that you're trying to look for. Now, with that said, Let's take a look at today's sponsor because thanks to it, I got this idea. Hey there, fellow educators. Are you tired of spending countless hours creating lesson plans on your own? Do you want to find a quicker and more efficient way to plan out your teaching materials? Meet LessonPlans.ai, the next generation AI software that will instantly generate high quality lesson plans 10 times faster than doing it yourself including lesson objectives and even materials from guided practice all the way to independent practice. With LessonPlans.ai, you simply enter the grade level, 
subject, and a few keywords, and the AI takes care of the rest. No more mind-numbing hours spent researching, planning, and formatting. LessonPlans.ai does it all for you, so you can focus on what really matters. Teaching your students. I've been using this software for weeks now, and it's been a game changer. Not only does it save me time, but it also provides me with fresh and innovative teaching approaches, which keeps my lessons exciting and engaging. The perfect solution for any busy teacher, LessonPlans.ai even offers a free 7-day trial so you can try the software for yourself and see how it works. If you fall in love, as I did, you can even refer other teachers to get 80% off your first year subscription. So why not give LessonPlans.ai a try? Sign up for your free trial today and experience the power of AI in creating high-quality lesson plans that help you teach smarter, not harder. Go to www.lessonplans.ai or click the link in the description box down below. Now let's look into the AI side of things and use ChatGPT to figure out what are some of the best arguments why we should be using CT CCTV and why we shouldn't be using CCTV. With ChatGTP, all we have to do is type in the things that we want. So let's, uh, tr let's try three arguments why CCTV in the operating room in hospitals, okay, those are our keywords, are good. Something went wrong. Oh no! Let's try it again. Now that we've refreshed, let's go back to uh, three reasons why uh, CCTV should be used in the operating room. in hospitals. Okay, first, enhancing patient safe, uh, safety. Second, improving quality control. Three, legal protection. Okay, this is very interesting. So now we have our three arguments. We have the explanations. Now what we would need to do is fact check to make sure that this information is accurate and true. See, uh, ChatGTP is known for making some mistakes here and there, but this seems like a pretty good start. As you can see from this simple idea, with one click of the button, we are able to see that we can get all of our arguments provided by ChatGTP. The con, however, is we do need to do some fact checking, and there's no there's no actual evidence being provided to us. And it's going to be very difficult to find those sources because ChatGTP doesn't search from the internet as a search engine does. In my opinion, I do think AI is not only here to stay, but also very important for students to be searching for arguments for the debates that they're having in class. Not only does it give you the ideas, but it also presents the reasoning and information needed to make those set arguments. However, I also believe that doing your regular Google search by getting the evidence, doing more research, will help you develop your skills as a better informed debater during cross-examinations and especially when you're having evidence-based argumentations and refu uh, refutations. So I know this was very quick, but I do believe AI is going to be very helpful for everyone who's needing to do some research, but also don't have the time to commit to actually spending hours and hours on said research. So this about sums up today's video on debate and doing research with ChatGTP. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please comment below your thoughts, suggestions, ideas. Do you also use AI when preparing for a debate? And while you're still here, please click that subscription button click that like button, share this video with your friends, and thanks for watching today's video. I'm really appreciative of it, and I am planning on creating a debate book for both teachers and students sometime later this year, so please stay tuned, and until then, I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye-bye!